Hey everybody, Chris Grust here. So I just got in a new set of backup sights I've been wanting to try out for a while. I picked them up from Brownell. So let's go and take a look at them. Okay, so a lot of y'all know that I'm a big fan of the Magpul Embus sights, as a lot of people are. They're about the cheapest reliable backup sight system that you can get. On the top end, I really like the Troy backup sights for a few different reasons, and also the Geisley backup sights I got on my Brownells exclusive Geisley Super Duty. Those are actually really nice as well. A lot of nice features with those sights. But anyways, uh, I'm fixing to start on a new build project and I wanted to pick up a set of backup sites and these backup sites here from Ultradyne have kind of been piquing my interest a little bit they have a couple different styles and one of the things you're going to notice probably right away is the front sight post so it's not a standard post they do offer a standard post but what they do have here is a kind of a circle see-through peep sight in the front and then they have a peep sight in the rear okay so the idea there is that you're not going to take your eye off the target but you're going to kind of put that around the target at distance it looks like you can probably do some pretty good precision work with these even though these are pretty much a backup sight type deal now a couple of the specs on these things they are made in the usa right there in the front they tell you that of course uh they are very compact they do fold really flat let's see here if i can get you can see here i mean they do not protrude hardly at all so these can be a very flush folding backup site so that's one of the things that i try to look for in a backup site i don't want something that's really big and bulky when it's folded down uh, and these pretty much fit the bill as far as that's concerned so here i'll take the the front side there so you just got basically it's you got your picatinny rail mount right there and then i mean that thing is is really folded tight to the rail all right so these guys are 100 percent cnc machined stainless steel and aircraft grade aluminum they are a compact sight and they have toolless adjustments which is also kind of a nice thing so it also always kind of sucks when you got to find a tool for the front sight post to adjust the uh, elevation on that guy as is the case with standard m16 sights you know you have to either use a bullet tip or that special drum tool uh, but it's kind of nice that these have some elevation adjustments built in and they're very positive clicks so i don't have to worry about these things falling out of adjustment when i'm in the uh in the field and then for the windage adjustment here, very tight, very positive clicks. And then you also have this diopter on the rear as well. It looks like this guy here comes out. So if I want to just run with the larger rear diopter, I can do that. So that is one thing that I would say might be a negative for some folks. Um, I know a lot of sites will have a flip rear site where you can change the diopter size on the fly and that's just not going to be the case with this one right here. So you either run the large one or you run the small one. Uh, but you know you have to unscrew this and this is something that might get lost if you're not paying attention to it. So something to keep in mind there. The only other detractor I would say on these, and I've mentioned this before on some of my other backup site videos is that I really like a backup site that has some sort of a lock where I have to push it in order to press it. So the Troy sites, for example, have that. So these Ultradyne sites, even so even though they have a very positive click when they deploy, right, I mean, they're not easy to push down, 
but you can push them down by hand. So in other words, if I if I bump this by accident, if I'm using it, it's going to push it out of the way. So the Troy sights have a push button so that I have to physically push that in to push them down. But other than those couple things, uh, I really like the way these look. And I plan on putting these on the BRN 180 project that I'm embarking on. So it'll be my second BRN 180 project. Really looking forward to that thing. I have a couple things that I plan on doing a little bit different. So, and these are definitely one of those new items I have yet to try. So really cool set of sights here. Uh, definitely check them out. Uh, if you head over to Brownells, if you're interested in these, they have a couple different styles of these in stock. And, um, you know, so far so good. They're, they're not overly expensive, but they're not on the cheap side either. So I think a set of these is somewhere in the, the 150 range. And if anybody has any experience with Ultradyne as a company or these particular sites, uh, definitely let me know. Um, I'm curious to see what other people's thoughts are on these. I don't see a whole lot of people using these. So um, like I said, they just kind of piqued my interest and wanted to, wanted to give them a shot. All right, so I appreciate y'all taking a look at today's video on these C2 backup sites from Ultradyne. I think they're a pretty cool concept, definitely a departure from other types of backup sites. And these appear to be robust enough to be used for uh, you know everyday use. So anyways, any questions or comments, please put them down below. As always, I appreciate everybody watching and subscribing and I will catch y'all in the next video. Y'all take it easy.